So you have another woman here that's responding to women that are upset that she will not go on uh, the internet and just drag brothers through the mud. They very upset by that. Let's review it. So the chicks is mad and I, since I was 16, I don't give a damn. And even right now, even more so. So they want to know in my DMs why I never drag men. And here's why. Get ready to vomit. Whether he's a pookie or whether he's a Ray Ray and I'm a lioness on the savannah tearing y'all asses up like I'm doing. A pookie and a Ray Ray is still over me. To the girls that get it, get it. And to the girls that don't. Because you're getting left behind, like I said. See, y'all don't like men because y'all are fake-ass lesbians, like I said. That's why y'all pay so much attention to another woman. You want validation from the man, but in reality, you just want validation from other women because you want them to be jealous of you and your body. That's why when you walk past a woman and you, she's beautiful, when you walk past her, you turn back around to see if she's looking. Y'all are gooses. All right? You know, boy, she, she is touching on a point that a lot of men had, you know, with this conversation here is that, well, you know, the Pookie and Ray thing, I kind of know what she's getting at. It's basically, she's saying is, listen, I'm not above a man in that sense. Um, in the area of just certain ways. Now, we, Pookie and Ray wouldn't be the standard of that. But the point that she brought up about this competition, you know, with other women um, saying how you, if a woman looks her when you looking to see how she look at you or whatever, it's like a lot of men have had that conversation. Like, why are y'all worrying about each other like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you should worry about yourself. And if you're looking for, you know, a particular man, you need to be in a position to get a man. Um, because if you think about it, a lot of men is not even asking for certain things. Like men didn't come out and say, um, wear this, wear that, put you, put these wigs on, put this different color, uh, hair this way, do this, do that. A lot of men didn't say to do that at all. They, they really didn't. And then let's say if they have a man, and then some of them say, I don't really like that, you know, or whatever. They'll fight against that situation. I don't understand why, you know, just like some brothers, let's say with the natural hair conversation, they say that they prefer the natural hair and let's say they, they do have a husband. Let's say I have a husband at least, or just a boyfriend that's about to become a husband. Let's say fiance. And he say, okay, well, I'm cool with your, your natural hair. You ain't got to do all that. Sometime, not all. They still would do things like that, put on the wigs or whatever, and come up with different things about protective styles and all. But if the man is willing to, to pay for the products, if the man is willing to do anything that he is willing to do to make sure that you could keep up with that, I don't really see an issue with it at that point. Um, you know, all this competing with other women, like I said, there's no reason for that. I mean, but that's what a lot of men say. But this woman's taking it a step further. I don't really think it's on that level what she's talking about when she's saying lesbian. I don't believe that. Um, I'm not who some people could be on that. I don't know, but the average rank and file is not, but the, this America creates this unreal competition. Cause a lot of times men, we, man, we ain't worried about no other man. We ain't worried about how he dressed. Like I ain't keeping up with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like he do him. I do me. That's just really what it is. I mean, men that try to keep up with other men like that is usually young boys you know, children, but when you're talking, you get to the grown man level, man, I don't care about no other dude. What he got going on? We just trying to get our money. That's why I don't drag men. They're over me. I have a place and my place is under men. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, no, she didn't say that. Now I know good and well, they losing their mind when you hear her say that. How dare she say that? How dare she say that? See, she believes in gender roles. And when she said her place, it doesn't mean you're unequal. It doesn't mean you do not respect it. It doesn't mean you're not honored. She's just saying that if I want my man to you know, cover me, then I need to be in, in that particular role where I was his God given position to cover me at that point. But what, what a lot of times what's going on in society is that, you don't want to be in a position to be covered. You want to be Lord and master over the person that's supposed to be covering you. 
And this is why you have a lot of these videos coming out where a lot of women say, you know, I'm, I, you know what, I'm throwing in the towel. I can't do this no more. You know, I need to be in a position where I can be covered, I can be protected, I can be looked after, provided for, etc. Because men is just not going to do that if they, if you are acting more masculine than they are. And whether he's a pookie or whether he's a Ray Ray, it's not my place to castrate him like how you castrate him. Yeah, that's that's a good, great point. Now, the Pookie and Ray Ray thing, you already know where I'm, I, I, where I'm at. I get what she's saying, but yeah, listen, the dehumanization language that's spoken about, definitely online. Listen, you think women of other communities don't have issues with they men? You think men of other communities don't cheat? You think men of other communities haven't been, you know, arrested or participate in domestic violence? You think men of other communities um, aren't lazy? You know, like there's a people trait, okay? And you have good people and bad people. But one thing I have not seen, and let's just, just keep it 100, I have not seen, you know, people of other communities just drag their men like that. And people want to talk about today when the brothers finally start saying something. But no, I remember the time when it started. I remember back in the 80s, okay? Because I'm, I'm Gen Z, Gen X. I'm sorry, Gen X, not Gen Z. I remember when all that started. I remember all the Oprah Winfrey shows. I remember that. I remember all the Sally Jesse Raphael shows. I remember how they would come on Donahue. I remember that. I seen these things like, why are they so angry like that? I remember the Ricky Lake shows. I remember all that. And it was always a consistent theme. And you never really had any brothers had a chance to even speak for themselves. It was always a one-sided conversation. I understand the powers that be elevated that conversation. I get it. But at the same time, the powers that be can, can elevate it, but we participated. And that with time, you know, the, the brothers in that time period just kind of took it, but the, you have the Gen Z's now and the millennials say, I ain't taking crap. I know you're not beating up on me because now we have a different conversation about mental health and all kinds of other things because that do affect you, your mental health. Like the, the women of your community, always and speaking the most dehumanizing language out there. Right. And it, but you don't supposed to have nothing. To, no, just take it. Don't say nothing bad about it. You know what I'm saying? We, we have to deal with it from white supremacy and that's fine. We expect that, but they're not in our community, but to deal with it like that. So yeah, I mean, and then it's so normalized that if a woman don't want to do this, then something's wrong with her. Stop worrying about why. I don't drag men and worry about why you have three daughters under the age of 13 and your vibrator is not where you left it. Now get off my page. Oh boy. That, that is a uh, definite different conversation. Hmm. Boy, that's interesting. But even those, those daughters you're talking about nine times out of 10, they don't have no, no husband at home. And then that's, that goes back to some of the problems in the community, but sure. Do we have problems? Yes. But you discuss your problems in your house. You don't get on the internet, just having this hatred and every day you just dragging a brother, dragging a brother, dragging a brother all day. That's all you want to do. And you think it's, and you think a woman is wrong if she don't do it. And you, and, and this also affects, you know, your dating options as well, because you can only take that for so much for some, a brother to say, Hey, listen, I just want to be at peace. I want some tranquility. And if a woman of a different community is not dragging brothers like that and they being nice to them, what do you think they're going to do? But then you want to call them a sellout. Well, who would want really sold out? Actually, those of you who are there spewing venom about brothers, you the one selling out. You the one selling out your own community. You never want to take responsibility for that. Now, some of you are speaking up now. Some of you are starting to say, hey, wait a minute, pump the brakes on that. This is going too far. And, and that's good. We're starting to see that. But you got a lot of work to do. You have a whole lot of work to do. Because the, and the main ones that are spewing all this venom, they don't have no man, no man either. That's why they're so pissed off. But y'all let me know what y'all think about what this sister say here. You know, say she's not dragging no men like that. She says she's going to be in her, her proper place and she's going to go in on y'all. That, that's out of line. Hey. Can't say nothing about that.